Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey y'all, pura vida. My name is Merck, welcome back to the Narc Alert Reactions. So Amberlynn graced us with an upload on Sunday. She seems to be doing that lately, which means, of course, a Monday bonus reaction video for you all. And this one was kind of interesting. This is called Eating Taco Bell in Bed. Eating tacos in bed. Every time. Uh, cooked my mom's famous chili. Cooked my mom my famous chili. And making a personal charcuterie board. Well, this sounds like a really exciting episode in cooking. We get chili. Oh, you know we do love a cooking video. Let's jump right in. All right, Amber, take it away, my dear. Charcuterie board that literally is going to be knockoff charcuterie. Oh, well, hello. Hello. Welcome to my vlog. So we're going to start off with a little mini personal charcuterie board that oh. literally is going to be knockoff charcuterie board because it's not going to be that great. So I have like a whole charcuterie board set up, to be honest. What is a knockoff charcuterie board? I mean... A charcuterie board, just in the nature of what it is, is, is can be a number of things. So, I don't know. I have a whole moment. This big guy. But I'm going to use this small, this small fella. So, I'm going to show you That's everything I'm going to have small? on the plate. That's a small charcuterie board? I'd do that for like four to six people. So, in my last vlog, I hauled these for you guys. They're salted garlic chips. I still have not tried them, so I'm definitely going to try these. It's a chip. Now it's a cracker. Obviously, we're going to have some salami. Obviously. This is port wine cheese spread with, like, almonds. We're going to have some of that. So, we have uh, Kalmata. Do you think Amber knows what port wine is? <laughs> oh, I guess she's drinking now. She'll probably know really soon. <laughs> green olives so i'm gonna be doing those and then over here in my wannabe pantry i have these pretzels that i also got Why is, she must she to me this is the language of somebody who's really insecure right it's a it's a knockoff charcuterie board it's a wannabe pantry like she doesn't even seem to have the confidence to own her shit you know it's really weird it's not a wannabe pantry it's a it's a it's a kitchen cupboard. You could call it dry storage, pantry, cupboard. It's not wannabe. It is. Uh, Weird. Himalayan salt, multigrain flatbread. Okay, tap, so tap, now tap. I'm going to assemble it. I'm going to put you guys on my little tripod. Okay, first things first, let's add the cheese. Now we're going to add some salami. I promise if I was doing this for like a get together and not just by myself, I would like be decorative like i would fold them i would have like fruit and veggies yeah okay because you're chef chef amber we know you you'd really garnish the hell out of that if there was other people there uh but what i want to say is what the hell how much salami is that for one person are you kidding me that's got to be half a pound of salami and you know processed meat is truly one of the worst things you can eat. We all like it. I'm good. We all eat it. Come on. Let's be real. We all have vegans aside, I guess. Um, salami or ham or, you know, we eat that stuff on occasion. But my Lord, that's a lot of salami. That would be like two weeks worth of salami for me. God. And before anyone says anything, no, I'm not going to eat all this cheese. That would literally make me sick. I just did it, you know, because it looks cute. So next is some of the olives. I'm just gonna add there. Are I'm also so gonna put the green olives here. Okay. Only need a few. And then I'm gonna take some of the crackers. Look at They're the actually salt. a lot longer than I was expecting them to be. And then some of these garlic chips. Oh my god, this looks so bad. Like I need something here. If I could have anything here, here right now, it would definitely be strawberries. I need something here. Why would you put strawberries there? 
I mean, you could, but they don't really go with that stuff. Melon, maybe. You can put anything you want but in there, really. Stick with something else. Are she putting pills? <laughs> she, is she adding medication to the charcuterie board? They're like hot tamales. I know. They're like little candies. I'm okay. <laughs> I know. I know they're candies. But the, when the first time I saw this, when she dropped those down there, I thought, what the hell is she putting her meds on the board? <laughs> okay, medication is ludicrous, but you know what else is ludicrous? Candy. Why are you putting candy on your charcuterie board? Oh my god, girl, you don't have to fill in that space. <laughs> this doesn't look half bad, I'm not gonna lie. It looks I just have like terrible. a little cheese spreader. It looks terrible, Amber. It looks terrible, okay? Here's a handy hint. If you want to fill up a space like, like these olives, right? They're kind of sparse in there. If I was doing that, because... Again, that's a charcuterie board for like four to six people, not one. So if you wanted to make that space look a little more bountiful with less product in it, what you might want to do is say line it with a leaf, a, a lettuce leaf. Um, it would fill in the space and then keep the olives in a little pile so it looks conscious. It looks like you've placed them there, <laughs> but make it more visually appealing. I mean, you don't have to do that. She's eating alone. I'm not shaming her for that. Oh my God, get your car, please. <laughs> Life in the city. Let me see if I can find it. So it should be in here. Yes. The cupboards are so the, empty. Oh, do you guys hear the siren? I hope everything is okay. Okay. So this actually I'm, came as a whole sirens, set. car horns. So I got to pause neat. for a minute. So I can't really show you guys. Okay. Amber sirens and my car horns are over. Let's continue. <laughs> guys or it's gonna fall but you guys already saw what it looked like while i eat i'm actually gonna be watching the new uh squid games the challenge okay let's taste test a garlic chip like what is that why do you have to taste test the most friggin mundane things in the world it's a goddamn garlic cracker we've all had a cracker before amber you know, people taste test things that are unusual or unique or something they've never tried before. Not a bloody plain cracker. You're so stupid. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Texture is crunchy. Yeah, it's a cracker. Flavor is garlicky. It's a garlic She's cracker. Good. Now I'm going to take my little cheese spreader. And we're about to spread some cheese. You know okay. what I'm saying? Oh my God, the what cracker the is going to crack. What the hell kind of trowel is that? Ugh. Told you. How about let's just like dollop it on there. You know what I'm saying? Dallop. I don't know if I've ever had this cheese before. Sounds familiar. Who knows? But let's do a taste test. This is a taste test. Mm. Cheese she hasn't tried. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's so good. Okay. I'm going to add some cheese. We're going to do a whole moment. Okay. I'm going to add some salami. So we got the salami there. We're God, your life is sad. Good Christ, your life is sad. Amber, you're sitting in front of a camera showing us a whole moment which consists of cheese and fucking salami on a cracker. My lord. Amber, go and live a little, please. You know, this isn't a practice life. You're 33. In the blink of an eye, you're going to be 40 and you're going to go, oops. Oops, I forgot to live. I taste tested a lot of crackers, though. All right. So sad. Cheers. Stop eating. Just, mm -hmm. just stop eating. Ten out of eating. ten. Recommend. Okay, so I ate all of the salami. And oh my god! And that's everything else I have left. Okay, I was gonna say she didn't like that cheese. I don't think she'd like that cheese. Port wine cheese has a very distinctive flavor. She doesn't like wine. She doesn't like real alcohol. It doesn't taste sweet. It doesn't taste like a buzz ball. It tastes like wine. I don't think she liked that cheese. Look how very little of it she ate. You know how much is missing? Is what she showed us she ate. She didn't eat any more after that. She's trying to be sophisticated with her friggin' cheese trowel. God, that's a lot of salami. Amber, you're literally going to have a heart attack. And you know what's going to happen? It's going to be scary when that happens to you because of what you said to me. People are going to come for you, Amber. Please don't have a heart attack. It's going to get so ugly. 
So I'm just going to go put the cheese back in the fridge. And that was a really good meal. It was very satisfying. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but the sky is literally doing something for me. Yep. Goes up, when you go out, looks. the sky looks sweet. I don't know. I just had Sometimes when you go out, there's clouds. And you know what? Every day they can look different. Wild. To share the beauty. It is pretty. Of Mother Nature. It's clouds. That's, that's it. Oh, it is Wait, storming. Where was she? She was in a parking lot somewhere. So she was out with mom, I guess. But where was she? What was she doing? Was she getting food? Were they playing bingo? Why don't you vlog these things? Why do you vlog the sky in the parking lot? What are you doing, Amber? For the first time since I have been living in Oklahoma, it like literally looks like a flood is happening outside. There's lightning, thunder. Like my poor babies are so scared. And this is only the third time it's rained. Like what? So I wanted to show you the tumblers that I got from the good old Walmart. Look at how gorgeous. Plastic, shiny plastic. Tell me these aren't beautiful. Literally the same. Tell me you aren't like a friggin' pigeon in the city that walks along the street and just picks it. Oh, there's oh, oh, look, there's something shiny. Peck, 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 peck. I need that. Peck, peck. Oh, shiny. Peck, peck. If it's glittery, she's got to have it. Same quality as the Starbucks ones, which I'll show you the ones I have. Oh, I need to wash these before I put them away, obviously. But the ones that I do have, I have a pink one and like a maroon. Why is every cupboard she opens empty? Does she not own anything? Like, we've seen her buy tens of thousands of dollars of shit. And every cupboard she opens is empty. She opened that one cupboard to get the cheese trowel. <laughs> I'm not calling that a spreader. That wasn't a spreader. That wasn't a palette knife. That's a trowel. <laughs> Never even seen one of those in a kitchen before, to be honest. It looks like a bench scraper that pastry uh, dough, like uh, bakers use. <laughs> That's how big it was, but... I digress. Why is every cupboard empty? When she opened the cupboard to get the trowel out, the whole damn cupboard was empty and those things were sitting right at the edge. Like, what? It's really weird. How, do you have space to display three plastic cups like this? I don't. Every cupboard I have is so crammed full of crap. These are both Starbucks brand. And then I also think I got this from Walmart. And then I have the Stanley. If we want to talk cups in general, this is all that I have. I have two of these guys, two of these, you need one that? mug. You know what? Those. Amber, you live alone and you have no friends. You really don't need a full set of uh, like six to eight dishes and different sizes, cups and glasses. And you don't entertain. You have no friends. Two glasses is enough for you and mom. It's fine. And now these cuties. So as you guys know, I discovered Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze, which is literally the best. I started drinking it. I started becoming obsessed with it. And people were like, Amberlynn, you don't actually need that. Maybe I don't. But I will say what I have noticed is ever since I started drinking these, I feel more hydrated. And I don't really get Charlie horses in my legs anymore. So I am trying more to be up, moving, doing more. So when that happens. We saw like a dozen of these in her fridge. She's drinking a ton of this crap. So yeah, girl, you're hydrated. It's full of electrolytes, right? Gatorade? Is that Gatorade? I don't know. But even regardless, you're drinking a lot of liquid, so you're hydrated. And sometimes at night while I'm sleeping, I get Charlie horses. But you ever since drink I started water. drinking this, I don't get them anymore. But then I sadly went to the store and they didn't have Gatorade Zero Glacier mm. Freeze. And I was like, crap, what do I do? Oh so God. I ended up being without these for like a week. And I started no. getting Charlie horses again. And I was like, is this a coincidence? I don't know. So I said, screw it. Screw it. I'm going full sugar because I need to fix those Charlie horses. Fat be damned. My health is what's most important. So I can't get the zero. I'll just get the regular one, which does suck, I will say, because it's like, like, look at those carbs. Look at the Sucks. sugars. Look at the calories. The one I usually... Look at the carbs. Let's see. Oh my God, that one, oh my God, that one bottle has 22 grams of carbs. Like when I'm good, I'm not good right now. Full transparency, I suck. I'm eating all kinds of bad, not super bad. When I say bad food, I mean like I'm having an extra piece of bread. I had brown rice the other day. I don't usually eat rice. I'm, you know, I've had chips once or twice, not gonna lie. I'm terrible right now. And I've decided that, you know what, frig it. January, like everybody else, I'll start getting serious, except I will. And now I've said it aloud.
so I have to. But when I am serious, I do 50 to 70 carbs a day. That one drink is half of a daily carb load for low carb. Drink has zero all of that. And it's crazy, but I prefer the zero. Like this one, it tastes great. Like I love it. Well, we know that, Amber, because you're ever so healthy. You can't even help it. You just intuitively make the best choices. I mean, really, all you do is eat sugar free, um, eat broccoli and drink sugar free pop. It's amazing that you're not the size of Eugenia Cooney because really, you always know best. I'm obsessed. I'm definitely going to drink them, but the other one tastes so much better. So she's forcing herself to drink the sugary ones. Hello, hello. It is the next day. If I look tired, I am tired. So, you know, Amber doesn't like to waste food. We've seen it before. Like, remember when she threw away the whole box? I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Do you remember when she threw away the whole box of Baby Bell? Because one was missing out of it. And then it later came up that it was a troll, that Becky had taken one out or something. I don't know. But she threw away all that cheese because she decided somebody was in the cheese because one of the wrapped up Baby Bells was missing. And we've seen her throw, what about those cakes? Those beautiful Easter cakes that somebody sent her. Toss those apparently in the garbage as well. So, but we know that Amber, you know, she doesn't want to waste those sugary drinks. She's going to drink them all down. She's going to choke them all down. Two nights ago, I only slept for two hours. And then last night, I only slept for four. So, you know what? I'm grateful that I got any sleep at all. But I am definitely low on energy i'm tired you're always it's all tired. worth it though um but my mom and have we ever seen a video that she started out going hi guys listen i gotta tell you i feel great today i am so full of energy i can't wait to take you along and 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 on and to watch all the things i'm gonna accomplish today i'm just like a bundle of energy i feel great <laughs> have you ever heard amber utter anything even close to that no what She's always tired. She always hasn't had enough sleep. There's always something. Coming over today, and I'm going to be making some chili. Um, this is the first time that she's ever had my cooking, ever. Like, I'm 32, and she has never... I think that's a lie. ...my cooking before, so... I that's... believe there's a, there's a video. I want to say bottle, but I'm not sure. I believe there is a channel that debunked this. I haven't looked into it yet, though, so I could be wrong. But I've heard that this is a complete lie. It's going to be fun and interesting. And I know there's like jokes, there's memes, whatever it may be, where people talk about my chili online. Yeah. But everyone in my real life who has ever tried it thinks it's the best. Like one of my... You know why, Amber? Because you're a raging histrionic narcissist. And it's really hard to tell that kind of person that something that they did isn't the best. So, you know, like with Joan, I often tell her things are great. It's the best because you know what? It's just easier. It doesn't mean anything and it makes my life easier. So I suspect that might be kind of what people have been doing around you too. You know, when you go through all the effort and make such a gigantic production out of cooking this chili for people, chances are nobody's going to tell you, oh my God, Amber, this tastes like dirty dishwater with hunks of hamburger floating in it. Probably nobody's going to say that. Because most people are kind. My ex is the pickiest ever. And she said that's the yeah, best chili she's, best ever, food she's had. ever had. So literally anyone right. who's ever tried it literally, loves it. Everyone. Um, I love it. Like I do know how to cook. I have made some very questionable choices. Amber, you don't know how to cook. Because you can, oh, this pisses me off. You know, because you can put food together and add heat to it. I guess technically that's cooking, but that is not knowing how to cook. You don't understand the fa the very basics of food. You don't even know to heat up your pan before you add oil. You don't know that you you don't know anything. You don't know how to cut vegetables. You don't know how to prep vegetables. You don't know how to season food properly. You don't know how to thicken a sauce. You don't know how to do anything. You do not know how to cook. You know how to buy food and put it in a pot and add extra high heat to it. That's what you know what to do. Shut See, up. In the past with soups, <laughs> especially when I was dating Destiny, um, very questionable. They always tasted good. No. Um, I would never make a soup like that now. I just want to make that very clear. Oh, yeah, because you're so such an So my chili is almost done. It's been You didn't make, there's no fucking way. I'm sorry. I don't believe she made that chili. There's no way. I'm going to do a chili comparison video. Are you kidding me? This looks like reasonable chili. I mean, it needs more. To me, it's got too much for chili is a personal preference.
Some people like the corn, some people don't, some people like beans, some people don't. So, you know, it's a personal preference about ingredients, but this looks like a decent chili and it's thickened properly. Somebody used tomato sauce, uh, to tomato paste in that. I don't believe she made that. If she made that, her mom came and helped her. Her mom fixed it for her. Look at that. That's a reasonable looking pot of chili. Let's admit it. 20 minutes now. No, and I'm not saying she's not capable. Chili, I'm telling you, Rio could probably make a reasonable pot of chili. I'm just saying that history has shown us that this is not what her chili looks like in any form. She usually puts <coughs> a lot more bean. I don't know. It's thickened properly. This is not, this does not look, if she, if this is her chili, then she's done something. Then mummy helped her or something. Cause you know, she's not going to go learn on her own. I don't know. This looks way too good to be her chili. So I'd say it probably has about 10 more. Plus remember, she's making it for mom and the boyfriend. Do you think mom is going to let her boyfriend eat that piss dishwater crap that she makes? Mom's going to go, oh, Amber, let me show you a couple tricks. Let's fix this up. I bet you. Okay, I bet you. so my mom and her boyfriend have been gone for some hours. I didn't vlog because I'll vlog in front of my mom, but I get a little shy. Look at her Lego bag is exactly the same place that she left it in her last vlog. She doesn't clean this house. There's nothing. She can't even put a picture up herself. There's no photos on the walls. Girl, you've been there for a while. It still looks like you just moved in yesterday. I had a vlog in front of her boyfriend, like me and him. We get along really good. I really like him, but like, I get nervous vlogging in front of certain people, but I was shocked. Um, They loved my chili. They both got up to get a second bowl. Why were you shocked when you just told us that literally every human being that's ever tried it said it was the best chili they've ever had? You just said literally everybody that's eaten it. Everybody that's eaten it sings its praises. They've done Food Network documentaries about it. Everybody that has smelled it has wanted a second bowl of that shit. But somehow you, when you make it for your mom, you're amazed and surprised that they liked it girl stop and i was like okay i did that normally i make my chilies more like a chili soup because i really love broth but i wanted to make it more thick this time came out really she didn't thicken that her mom helped her for sure just even this qualifying it is telling me that you're lying about who made that chili this qualifier for me is underlying i didn't make that chili on my own freaking good um i like to eat mine with fritos so my mom had hers with fritos as well uh but her boyfriend requested saltines so i got those for oh. him and then while we were eating um, i had them watch a simple favor but it turns out i've already had my mom watch that movie if you guys know me that's my favorite movie but her boyfriend's never seen it so um yeah an amazing movie and there's gonna be a second one that's supposed to come out at the end of 2024 like the beginning of 2025 so hurry it up i don't care sam 2025, you think you'll still be here? Hello. <laughs> hey. I'm actually about to just have some of these hot tamales. I used to eat these as a little girl. Let's do like a random little story time. So my dad, when I was younger, um Does she think she's Tana? Like, why is she doing story times? Isn't this really old YouTube content? And can you stop putting us in the cupboard and pretending? Oh, you're in my cupboard. Stop. It's so stupid. When I lived with him, yes, I was in foster care. People get confused because, like, I'll share stories about, like, foster care and then, like, times where I lived. Nobody's no, nobody is confused, Amber. You've told the story 12 million times. We all know you were taken away at eight. You were in foster care until you were 18, but there was a six month period where you went back for a trial, but your parents were still too messed up. So you didn't, so the trial didn't work. We all know, we know every detail, even though probably they're all most uh, questionable. With my parents, I'm like, yes, both of those things happened. Yeah, we but anyways, know. my dad had his own lawnmower shop. Like he had his own business. A lot of sketchy things have happened there. Things that I remember, things that my mom have recently reminded me about. Girl. Maybe we could share some of those stories some other time, but maybe you shouldn't. Are you actually suggesting, first of all, I don't know why your mother would be sharing stories with you of sketchy shit that happened when you were a kid. What is she saying? Hey baby, do you remember when you were eight and daddy did this? Well, what was really going on was this. Why would you be sharing these stories? Number one, 
And number two, if she is sharing those stories with you, why would you share them with the bloody internet? Stop, Amber. Do you not you get boundaries, Amber? Um, I loved going there and I would sit in a little like office thing. And when someone would come up, I'd be like, okay, let me look at my dad. There is distinct fun things I do remember. Um, one of them is we had this like huge Popeye machine that we actually had in like the law. It's so bad with her. You know, when you meet somebody and, and you've determined in your head that they're kind of a constant liar. And then it gets to a point where everything they say seems like a lie to you. And it might not be. We don't know if these stories are true or not. They're from her childhood. Only she knows if it's true. Could be. We can't say it's a lie. But everything sounds like a lie. Even that little bit right there where she just said, you know, I used to sit there like in the receptionist area when people would come in and go, okay, I'll get your daddy for you. I don't, I don't, even that sounded like a lie to me. I, I just, uh, I mean, it might not be, but that's the problem, Amber. You're the Amber that cried wolf now. Everything sounds like a lie. Bobby. So I play that a lot. And then we had like this little like candy machine and I would always eat the hot tamales out of there. That's literally my story time. Fascinating. Like when I tell you I have some interesting stories from that place, I mean it, but, um, hot but I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you about the times that I got. I remember when I was seven, God, there was this candy I used to get out of a machine. That's my story. But I tell you, when I was seven, there was some shit going down, man. You would not believe the stuff that was happening. I don't feel comfortable right now sharing that, but I did get a really good tamale out of a gumball machine. <laughs> Tamales reminds me of that era of my life. It's kind of like not good, but like I was craving them. So I was like, oh my God. But like my memory and my heart is just like, ooh. Hello. So Hello. Oh God, I was for an hour. I was waiting for the Uber because I got some Taco Bell. It's a moment. It's fine. I promise. And Wait, what? I have to go back. I don't understand this part. Oh, so, oh my God. I just stood outside for an hour. I was waiting for the Uber. Because Why? Uber Eats? I got some Taco Bell. Okay. So I'm going to assume Uber Eats, right? Why were you standing outside for an hour? You live in a complex, right? Do they not deliver to your door? Number one, they do. Number two, I mean, sometimes in a building, I've heard people like one, one of our alerts, poor Lainey, sometimes they just drop stuff in her lobby. I don't get that, but okay. But, you know, because maybe the lobby, but that wouldn't be outside. And you have an app, right? Like it's on your phone and it, it you know, it, it, there's even a map you can look at and it shows you exactly where your driver is. It tells you to the minute when the driver's going to arrive within a span of about 10 minutes. And if they're late, it even changes, it updates. It's really good. There's no reason Amber Lynn had to stand outside for an hour to wait for a food delivery order. This makes zero sense to me. Now, another thing she's going to tell us here, which I'm just going to roll into before she says it, is that it's 2 a.m. So now you're going to tell me that Amber Lynn, who's scared of her own shadow, was standing outside alone at 1 a.m. for an hour waiting for Uber Eats. Why does this story make zero sense? Can somebody in the comments make this make sense for me? When she used to go for walks in the little courtyard of her own her old complex, she was terrified if it was dark out. She was looking around like she was paranoid and scared. There's no way this woman stood outside at 1 a.m. by herself. It's a moment. It's fine, I promise. And I met a guy, and I shaked his hand, and it has to be the softest hand I've ever felt. So, um, anyways, I was Wait. out there for like... She was waiting outside for an hour for her Uber Eats, and while she was out there, she met a guy, and she shook his hand. What? Wait, what? Oh, good Lord. An hour. I didn't realize I was going to be out there for an hour, but the Uber was running very behind, which happens, not complaining, but it's like 33 degrees, and I wasn't wearing a so coat. You are complaining. My nose, like, burns, and my cheeks burn. Why were you outside without a coat on for an hour? Could you not have come home and got your coat or maybe come home and waited for the driver? I don't understand the story and why it's all so full of lies. It's so stupid. It's so inconsequential. 
Like, why would you even lie about this shit? It's weird. I don't Burn, this. And my fingers were numb, but we're okay. Um, well, we're going to do a Taco Bell haul. Um, yeah. So I was massively craving they're just like chips and nachos. So you just get those little chips and nachos. <laughs> okay. Chips and cheese. And then a little bit of chips that we got there. Oh, and yes, shit. um, it's actually 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> oh boy. And I got two of these tacos because they're Is she gonna continue to tell us that she's losing weight when she's drinking all the time and ordering Taco Bell at two in the morning? For real? She can't be left on her own like this. This is just going to get worse. This is going to, I think we're at the beginning of a really bad spiral. Because she's white knuckling it right now and thinks she's doing well. But pretty soon, I think the food delivery orders are going to get more frequent if they're not already. And I'm afraid the drinking is more than we think it is and it's probably not going to stop. That concerns me. Because we know she's got no self-control. She has no self-control. And if she feels better after a couple of buzz balls, you know that it's going to turn into a nightly thing. I just, I'm, I, mm -hmm. as a human being that has a sympathy bone for other human beings, even though I don't like or respect Amber Lynn, I can feel bad for her. She's killing herself, man. And it's going to go, this is going to get bad. It's just like the regular hard taco but it's like the the cheese one. Oh, i could care less about you guys taco have... bell really me anyways i don't know hi i'm not doing vlogmas this year it's been weird for me everyone just uploaded their first vlogmas video and i'm like oh that was once gonna be me that once was me and no, instead you're... i am i'm all alone and i have nothing to do or talk about for 30 days in a row and I'm also too lazy to do that much work. So I'm not doing it this year. That's why. Eating Taco Bell in my bed. To be honest, that's why I don't do it. <laughs> Hello. So it's been like 10 minutes. These chips are the grossest things I've ever tasted. I was looking forward to this. Why won't you put it down else. then? They taste like poisoned why down? bitter oil chips. Disgusting. Okay. So... We're always in this dang fridge, aren't we? Yes, yes, you are. I have a few buzz balls. Don't come for me. Since we'll do. most of my meal sucks. She's drinking every night. I believe that she is drinking every night. I believe it with all my heart now. Oh my god, she's going back for more salami? Amber, you're gonna have a heart attack. Stop eating that salami! Oh. Um, I'm gonna have a few pieces of salami. So, Taco Bell wasn't good enough. Huh. Salami is so good. Like, I realized everything about salami is the very thing that I hate in life. Cold, gross, red-looking meat that is just everything I hate. Literally, really, yeah, truly, we, like, ew. We but can I tell you hate it. You ate two pounds of it today. Good Lord, Amber. This is like a day when you're not eating a lot. All that high-salt stuff on that charcuterie board and then chili, and then after chili at 2 a.m., Taco Bell, and then the Taco Bell was greasy, so now you're having more salami? What do you think is going to happen here? I grew up on it. So I'm used to it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Yeah, clean and moderate. It's not healthy by any means, mm -hmm. but she's tasty. So, yes, salami instead of... Poisoned chip oil. Well, there's our ending. Salami instead of poisoned chips. I think she ate those chips, though. I don't know. This is getting scary. I think she's drinking every single night. I really do. I really do. I don't know. Last night, we got a crying TikTok about her ex again. I think she's drinking every night. What do you guys think? Why don't you let me know in the comments? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I think this arc could get very dark. And as much as I don't really like Amber or respect her, I don't wish that for her either. Ugh, I guess we'll have to see what happens. Thank you all for joining me and the sleeping Rio in his carrier. 
for this quick Amberlynn Read Monday reaction. I hope you have a great day. And if you don't, have a great rest of your week. And until we meet again, please be kind. And hasta luego.